Now we move to the man as we are for the sale of the sale. We will have a new way in the morning. A way that we do not want to take for the money.
Maya Angelo. Nana Fusu Diablo Abuto II was born on the 7th February 1943. He was named Joseph Oku Abuto. His mother was Nana Amakunabu of Belen the royal of the Adako family, the, his father, Nana Okoku Abuto, also deceased, who was Otunfo's attorney. Nana was a royal, both patrimonially and matrimonially. Nana Okoku attended the Chenso LA Primary and Middle School. After successfully passing the government funds, he proceeded to the Pike Elgin Secondary School. He further went to Wesley College in September 1967 to pursue a two-year secondary course to be trained as a professional teacher. In his second year at the West School, Mr. Yusuf Kuku Akutu was voted to the profession, to the West School. Sorry. The college secretary, you said. He played this role carefully and uh, to the delight of the college authorities and his colleagues. Nana Koto married Mrs. Nare Okoku Akoto Misi, then Madame Fukura Batima, who was the nurse and wife at the Kakachi Teaching Hospital. They had their traditional marriage in 1968 at Edgy Church. Nana went to his wife in Germany. And then to the United Kingdom for further studies. Nana worked as a warehouse manager at the UK, and the wife worked at the Newcastle General Hospital as a senior nurse with wife. Nana had five children with Mrs. Sibel and Dr. Koto, Connie C, Pity, Cynthia, Yao, and Lionel. In all, Nama left behind six children, Mrs. Titi Apoku Akoto, Dr. Cynthia Apoku Akoto, Ahiba Yawase Akoto, Ahiba Aibi Apoku Akoto, Ahiba Baku Apoku Akoto, Nama Anna Sewa Akoto. When they returned from UK, Nama established the Kuka Koto Poultry Farm at Adenta Akira. Through hard work and serious years, Nama became the president of the Greater Akira Poultry Farmers Association. He was his mentor in lobbying the government in the United States. To establish favorable policies such as subsidized for the rising of the chain to more territory and tunnel zone, known as Atarafo Echo 29 and its towns and villages. He became the president of the Chief Traditional Council in the year 2000. He performed his duties as a kind of him. He was admired by the Asatran Council and then brought out for regional council of chiefs, house of chiefs. And I have for regional house of chiefs. He became Thank 
is transferred. Various educational committees, research committee, judicial committee, and many others. And my capital was devout Christian. Attending church regularly as a music family church in the it is difficult to convey the words of my heart as I bid farewell to my pillar, Nana Fosuji Abo Akoto II, or my name of Beche and President of Beche Traditional Council. Your departure is a striking one, but I am full of your memories, so I don't see you dead as the famous George Williams put it. Our dead are never dead. Until we have forgotten them. Nana Fosuji Abo Akoto II saw the need for peace as paramount chief, as paramount in his reign. He did everything possible to promote and maintain peace in the traditional area, comprising the chief, Jomo, Techi, and Tanoso, and our surrounding towns and villages. As Queen Mother, I had the privilege of working with him to promote our cultural heritage, support education and other initiatives, and foster peace and unity in the traditional area and beyond. Nana's vision for the growth and prosperity of Beijing inspired us all. Nana was a quiet type, but he did not come, but he did not countenance in this thing. He settled this peace with wisdom. Nana will be remembered for his developmental initiatives including, but not limited to, Adichie Festival. I will forever be able to, I will never be able to express how grateful I am for the way he related to me. He inspired me in many ways. A mighty tree has really fallen. Nana, I will remember you more whenever the Chief Traditional Council sits and any time I visit Benshia. Nana, what you be? Nancy Yi.
provided land for construction of our Florida education office and police training school. And I encouraged and assisted many farmers by supplying them with cocoa seedlings. And I'm going to about the second. Decided to create over 400 jobs in the traditional area through the religious bodies. The initiative was to allocate land to religious bodies in the chain to engage in poultry, fishery, and animal based farming, feed production, processing, marketing, and poultry meat. And I might miss interest in the government's proposed railway program compelled them to halt allocation of lands as certain parts of Beijing and assign his aides to work and lobby for a railway line and station in Beijing. And I was to the second, set up oil farm seeding nurseries in Beijing and other communities. Omai also encouraged the local farmers to participate in oil farm of cultivation which created considerable income to them. Sections of women and youth were employed at this 300 acre oil farm plantation and oil processing factory. Nanama Hini served on various boards and committees and spearheaded the development of all such institutions. And I was the Aboriginal representatives on the National Peace Council and a member of the National House of Chiefs. And I proceed to go up to the second, performed his functions as Omani of the team and president of the Chief National Council very well to the admiration of our Sartima Council, the former owner of the regional House of Chiefs, our original House of Chiefs, and as, as well as the National House of Chiefs. And I proceed to go up to the second, traveled extensively with His Royal Majesty 2472 as Antenna to several countries, including the United States of America, Morocco, China, Nigeria, and others. Otun Ford delegated him on several occasions to represent, to represent him at various countries and subcommittees. He played his role so well and made the Beijing a supposed to proud in Asantina. Anna, your impact extends beyond Beijing, touching lives and shaping futures. We pledge to continue your noble work. To your family, we offer our sincerest condolences. May the ancestors welcome you with open arms. Rest in peace. And I'm going to about to the city. Your name will live on etched in our hearts. Anna, 98. The Obidramo Ama and Manasuomra and Ma. Children. Tributes by children. We look up to the mountains. Where will our help come from? Our help will come from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth? Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. Death indeed that not sorry. Death indeed does not consider the repercussions it may cause to the relative of the deceased. The death of and I will to the second, our father, has created a great vacuum within us, which can never be filled. But our God lives forever. Our Father has been our teacher from school exchange to life. He supported us with wisdom and materials. And I painted pictures of our roots. It's hard to say goodbye. We wish that we had more time together. While we know he is at peace with his maker, there is still so much pain. Nana was a disciplinarian. He did not require the world to instill discipline. 
All he needed was to give you that look and you will straighten up. He taught us to strive for our own and to work hard for it. Our Lord has called Nana to come home. Sorry. Our Lord has called Nana home to rest. Who are we to question his wisdom? All we can say is, it is well. It is well with our souls. Daddy, let me refer to you. Nana, Nancy. Just to the you to the Just to the you the principal of St. Joseph's College of Education, Michi. Today, with heavy heart and in solemnity, Josco Fraternity pays our final respects to our esteemed traditional leader, Nana Fusuji Abakutu II whose presence was a guiding light to all well-meaning Joskodians. Nana Fosuji Abuakoto II's second departure has left an irreplaceable void in the life of St. Joseph's College of Education community. But his life, filled with remarkable achievements and unwavering dedication, remains a beacon that will continue to inspire us all. St. Joseph's College of Education mounts not only the loss of a leader, but of a legacy rooted in the rich soil of Ashanti tradition and culture. The next commitment to preserving and promoting our culture was unwavering. He understood that our customs and traditions are the backbone of our identity, and he worked tirelessly to keep them alive imparting their importance to the younger generation. This was evident whenever he paid a courtesy visit to the college. As a traditional leader, Nana Fusuji Abu II wore the mantle of responsibility with pride, respect, and humility. He was a compassionate and selfless figure, always advocating for the welfare of the Josco fraternity. His passion for teacher education was unmatched. He took pride in advocating for quality teacher education, reminding us all that we are merely consignages for the generations yet to come. This quality further strengthened the bond between Nana and the Josco community, as he never declined an invitation to attend any of our numerous college programs. Nana has always been a prominent member of the planning committee for all the major programs. He championed the causes of the marginalized, supported the initiatives that uplifted our youth and remained deeply committed to the well-being of every member of our community. His vision was to see Josco thrive. Throughout his reign, Nana Fusuji Abwa Koto II exemplified leadership that inspired unity and peace. He deeply believed in the power of dialogue, reconciliation, and cooperation. Many described Nana as a gifted and intelligent leader with proactive leadership skills. His legacy of fostering peace and understanding is one that we must continue in his absence, for he demonstrated true strength and the bonds we share. Nana Fosuji Abu Akuto II may have left this world, but his spirit will forever remain with us, woven into the fabric of our community, guiding us as we move forward. His life was a testament to the strength and resilience of the Joskodians in particular and the indigenous of the chief in general. His legacy will, continue, will endure in the hearts and minds of all who were fortunate enough to have known him or have attended St. Joseph's College of Education. Nana, Josko, thank you for your unwavering support for your people and Josko. May your soul 
find eternal peace among your ancestors. May we continue to honor you by carrying forward the values and traditions you so cherished, and may Michi Man remain united and strong as a lasting memorial to a man of peace such as you, Nana Fosu Nana, with heavy hearts, we bid you farewell. Then we find you, Dwayne Yamanu, or this year, Nanti Yeah, MC is so hard. Also, first of all, can we be a crack? I can't remember. Okay, I'm going to find MC.